Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to create this burgundy halo eye. If you would like to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. So first I'm starting off with brows and I'm filling my brows in with Espresso Eyeshadow by MAC. And I start off by outlining the bottom of my brows and then the top and then I simply just fill them in. Now I prefer to use an eyeshadow or brow powder because I feel that's the most natural approach to filling in my brows. And once I'm done doing that, I'm going in with my LA Pro Concealer and Warm Honey to carve out the bottom of my brows. And I went ahead and carved out the other brow off camera. Now I'm just outlining my brow with the same concealer on top. Um, I like to do this because I really like a really sharp brow. You can skip this step if you would like. You want a more natural type of brow. And next, I'm going to be priming my lids with that same concealer I used for my eyebrows. And I prefer to use concealer over um, eyeshadow base. I've tried eyeshadow base. I used to love them, but this works best for me. I feel like I get the most pigmentation out of this. So I just go and I blend that out and I'm using an e.l.f. concealer brush. And once I'm done doing that, I'm going to set my lids with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Now I'm using the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place and I'm going in with Burkina for my transition shade. And when you're blending eyeshadow, you just want to do windshield wiper motion. And this is going to help all the other colors blend. Here I'm going in with Alda and I'm going into my socket with this and this is a 217 by MAC. And this brush is good for precision. I usually use this for my outer corners if I want to really get into the socket. blending, building that color up to my liking, going back and forth. And basically you just blend so your arm falls out. You want this eyeshadow look to be very seamless. So now I'm going in with Alda and Zobo. I'm going to place this on my outer and inner corners of my eye. Now what a halo eye is, is basically the inner and outer corners of your eyes are dark and then in the middle you're going to look like a lighter shade, a shimmery shade and it's going to create like a, a shadow and then in the middle it's going to be light. So I'm just dabbing that color into my um, inner corner. And I'm just gonna gradually build that color up. I'm not gonna go in with too much at once. It's just back and forth, back and forth. That's how you can create this look. Here I'm going in with a blending brush, a clean blending brush to blend everything out so it looks seamless. Now I'm going back in with the same shade, Soba and Atta. And I'm kind of just pressing it into the inner and outer corners. Here I'm going in with Espresso by MAC. And I'm just deepening those outer corners. I need a little more dimension. Now here I'm taking my NYX Glitter Primer. And I'm putting it on the center of the lid where I didn't put any eyeshadow. Um, I like this primer. I use it for glitters as well as pigments and eyeshadow. It really gives like whatever you're putting on top of it gives it like that extra pop. 
basically like the equivalent of spraying your brush with Fix Plus and putting that on your lid. So here I'm going in with the shade Giza from the same palette. And next I'm using Bori and I'm going on the outsides of Giza, the, the um, lid color. So I wanted to add a little bit of a pinkiness to it. Now on top of that, I'm going in with the limited edition pigment by MAC. It's called White. I just needed a little more oomph to it. Here I'm using my NYC liquid liner in black. And I'm just drawing a simple line. This is going to help disguise my lash band when I put my lashes on. For foundation, I'm using the Waterweight Foundation by MAC in the shade NC44. And this is my favorite foundation. It's a light to a medium coverage. It's visible. Um, it's very luminous and dewy as you can see. And I'm just buffing that into the skin with a uh, e.l.f. brush. I'm not sure the name of it. On my forehead, I'm using the same foundation in the shade up, which is NC45. I find that my forehead is darker, so I go in with a darker shade. And I just put a little bit. I don't like too much foundation on my forehead, but just enough. Because we're going to go in with concealer and bronze and all that other stuff. And I'm using the Elf Small Stippling Brush. Here I'm setting my foundation with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, my favorite, and I'm just pressing that into the skin, buffing it out. Next, I'm going to be concealing under my eyes, and this is basically my skin tone, so I just use this to cover up my dark circles. I'm going to take this under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. I'm blending this out with a real technique sponge. And as you can see, I'm dabbing it into the skin. You never want to swipe with concealer because you want to get the most pigmentation you can from it. So I'm dabbing that into the skin. Next, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Light Ivory. I love a really bright under eye, so this is really light. I'm going to blend that out. And when I'm blending that out, I'm bringing that really close to the sides of my nose bridge. It's going to help make my nose Pair slimmer. And 
sorry you guys, my camera died, so I just went ahead and baked under my eyes everywhere that I highlighted off camera. Now here I'm going in with my Black Radiant pressed powder in the shade Cafe. And I'm just bronzing up my skin, contouring my forehead, my cheekbone. Here I'm gonna cut that contour with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna let that sit for about two minutes. For blush, I'm using Breath of Plum by MAC. And when you're applying blush, you wanna smile so you can get down the apples of your cheeks. And this is just gonna add a little bit of color to my face. Now here, I'm putting MAC Feline Eye Coal in my waterline. I'm going to smoke that out with Zobo from the same palette. And here I'm taking a bigger pencil brush to further blow out that shadow. I want it to look very smoky. Here I'm snatching this nose. I'm using the same bronzer that I used in my cheekbones. And this is a matte pencil brush, I forget the number. Now here I'm highlighting my brow bone with a pigment by MAC. I do not know the name. I made a sample at work and forgot to label it. But basically it's a lavender silver type of color. I love me a strong brow bone highlight, so I'm just building that up. And I'm using that same pigment in my inner corners, building that up as well. And for my glow, I'm using Tan Pigment by MAC. This is my favorite lately. And I'm using that on a M501 Morphe brush. And I love this brush, you guys. It gets it so precise and it puts the product exactly where I need it to be. And here I'm just dusting off that bake under that contour. On top of that, I'm going in with the Lorac Tintalizer. I needed a little more highlight. Now I'm lining my lips with the Chestnut Liner by NYX Cosmetics. For lipstick, I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede in Teas and Cookies. And over top of that, I'm going in with another Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. And I'm just coating my bottom lashes with the CoverGirl Professional Remarkable Mascara. And this is in the shade Black Brown. I'm just going back in with that liner. I felt like I lost a little bit of it when I put the lipstick on. 
Now I'm going in with the Mariah Carey. It's just like honey, which is from her collection. I got it as gratis. I love this lip gloss. It's in a fit edition though. And in the center of my lips, I'm putting the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I need it to lighten it up a little bit. It's gonna give me that ombre effect. And last but not least, I'm going in with the MAC Dazzle Glass, Prince and Dancing. And this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.